aircraft carrier, we'll be looking at the 10 most impressive aircraft carriers active among the world's warships today, counting down from number 10. HTMS Shakri Nerubet Thailand's first, and to date, only aircraft carrier, the Shakri Nerubet was named for the Shakri dynasty, the current royal family of Thailand. Considered the flagship of the Royal Thai Navy, it was first ordered in 1992 and was designed and built by Spanish shipbuilder Bazan. The vessel has a full load total displacement of 11,486 tons, making it the smallest functioning aircraft carrier in the world. It holds up to 675 troops, has a 571 foot long flight deck, and is capable of a maximum speed of 25.5 knots. Launched in 1996 and officially commissioned in 1997, the Shakri Nirebet was built to operate a small fleet of V Stull fighter aircraft and helicopters. Unfortunately, funds for the ship dried up in the wake of the Asian financial crisis of 1997, leaving it mostly at port but for a few disaster relief operations, monthly training days, and trips for the royal family of Thailand. Today, this small but powerful vessel is docked long term at the Shada Hip Naval Base. INS Vikra Matidia a modified Kiev-class aircraft carrier, the INS Vikra Matidia is the flagship of the Indian Navy, effectively replacing the INS Virat, previously the world's oldest serving aircraft carrier, which has been decommissioned. The Vikra Matidia is an exceptionally large aircraft carrier with a total displacement of 45,400 tons, room for 1,610 sailors aboard, and a maximum speed of over 30 knots. However, despite its exceptional statistics, the Vikra Matidia, named for a legendary emperor of ancient India, has not had an easy journey. It began life as the Baku, commissioned by the Soviet Union in 1987, almost 10 years after it was first laid down. In 1991, it was renamed the Admiral Gorshkov by the Russian Navy, then decommissioned in 1996 due to financial constraints in post-Cold War Russia. After years of negotiations, India and Russia agreed to a deal for India's purchase of the ship in 2004, with Russia providing upgrades and a refit of the ship, but the upgrades caused a host of troubles and delays. Dock trials began in 2011 and it was declared functioning, with sea trials beginning in 2012, but once again malfunctions created further delay. It was finally commissioned in November of 2013 and has by and large been an active portion of India's Navy since, with some downtime for refitting on 2015-16. However, its most recent years have not been without incident. In 2016, two people were killed by a toxic gas leak during maintenance, and in 2019, an officer died fighting a fire in the boiler room. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Admiral Flota Sovetskogo Soyuza Kuznetsov the Admiral Kuznetsov, for short, is a large aircraft carrier and the flagship of the Russian Navy. Ordered in 1981 by the Soviet Union and commissioned in 1991, it was built by the Black Sea Shipyard in Ukraine. The Admiral Kuznetsov was built primarily as a cruiser capable of carrying heavy aircraft, meant to provide an extra line of defense for other Navy vessels. It is a particularly large aircraft carrier, with a maximum 64,600 ton displacement and a capacity for a complement of 1,690 crew. In theory, it can reach speeds of up to 29 knots. However, despite its impressive size, the Kuznetsov is a carrier plagued by troubles. Its propulsion system has been famously problematic, with the ship often being escorted by a special tugboat in case of breakdown and an issue with the plumbing causing most of the ship's toilets to not work properly. And to make matters worse, in 2018 a crane fell on the ship at a shipyard while it was at dry dock for repairs, leaving a 214 square foot hole in the vessel's hull. Today, the Kuznetsov is undergoing a total overhaul, being refurbished and modernized with a slated completion date in 2020. Hopefully, it'll come out the other side of this refit a new and much improved ship. The Juan Carlos I Spain's Juan Carlos I, named for the former King of Spain, was ordered in 2003 and ultimately commissioned in 2010. Another relatively small aircraft carrier, it nonetheless plays an important role in the Spanish Navy's fleet as a support system for the Marines and a platform for carrier-based aviation. The Juan Carlos is equipped with a ski jump for stovall operations and space for AV-8B Harrier II attack aircraft as well as helicopters. This multi-purpose amphibious assault ship has a total displacement of 26,000 tons, a 663-foot flight deck, capacity for 913 soldiers, and can reach a speed of 21 knots. Built by Navantia Shipyards in Galicia, its small but efficient design has become popular worldwide, garnering interest from the navies of Australia, Russia, and Turkey. The Cavour Launched in 2004 and commissioned in 2008, the Cavour is the flagship of the Italian Navy. A relatively small but sleek carrier built by Italian shipbuilder Vincentieri, the Cavour is complemented in the fleet by Italy's other older and smaller aircraft carrier, the Giuseppe Garibaldi. 
primarily used for disaster relief missions to date, the Kavor has a 30,000 ton full load displacement, holds a complement of up to 1,292 sailors, and reaches speeds of 29 knots. Originally designed to accommodate fixed-wing V-stall and helicopter operations, it is reportedly being modified to hold a new group of Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning tubes, which have been produced in Italy and were delivered to the Italian Navy in 2018. The Lea Oni The Lea Oni, primarily a training ship, is currently China's only combat-ready aircraft carrier. The ship originally began construction in the Soviet Union as the Riga, later the Varyag, meant to be the sister ship of the Kuznetsov. But after the Soviet Union dissolved, work on her was halted and she was put up for sale by Ukraine. The Lea Oning is another former Soviet ship with a less than smooth journey to her current operational status, though the Lea Oning has been less troubled than other similar ships in recent years. When the hull first came up for sale in 1992, the Chinese government has been interested, but declined to purchase due to political concerns. Without a buyer, the hull was left to rust for several years before the ship was purchased in 1998, purportedly by a company called Chong Lok from Macau. The story at the time was that the ship was intended to be transformed into a floating hotel and casino, but the company's casino license application was rejected. However, later reports suggested that this was a cover and that the purchased ship had been intended for to the People's Liberation Army Navy or plan from the start. The journey from Ukraine to China was equally muddied and delayed. The ship was purchased as a stripped-down hull with no onboard power source at the time and therefore needed to be towed for the entirety of the journey. Turkey, for that reason, initially denied the ship passage through the Bosporus Strait, concerned that a strong gust of wind could blow the ship sideways, blocking passage through the strait entirely. The ship ended up stranded under tow in the Black Sea for a full 16 months before China and Turkey struck a deal to allow the ship to pass. Since its arrival in China, however, things have been smoother. China performed an extensive refit and redesign of the ship and its systems and began sea trials in 2011. It was commissioned the Lea Oning in 2012, named for the province in southern China where the work on the ship was completed. Today, the Lea Oning has a full load displacement of 67,500 tons, can accommodate a complement of 1,960 crew, and can reach an impressive speed of 32 knots. It's able to hold up to 40 fixed and rotary wing aircraft and has only undergone minor maintenance and modifications since its initial refit with no known major incidents. The Charles de Gaulle the flagship of the French Navy, the Charles de Gaulle is the only nuclear-powered aircraft carrier outside of the U.S. Navy and it's France's only currently operational aircraft carrier. It's a little smaller than some of the other entries on this list, but has some impressive capabilities that earn it a higher rank on this list. It has a full load displacement of 42,500 tons, can reach 27 knots, accommodates up to 1,350 crew and company members, and can hold up to 40 aircraft. It is also notable as the only non-American carrier fitted with a catapult launch system for C-2 Greyhounds and FA-18EF Super Hornets. First ordered in 1986, the Charles de Gaulle was launched in 1994 and took its official maiden voyage in May of 2001. The process from order to commission was slowed significantly by a recession in the early 90s, which caused a lack of funding for the project. It entered sea trials in 1999 and had several incidents during the trials, resulting in additional refitting before she could finally be commissioned. Most interestingly, in 2001, higher than acceptable radiation levels were noted aboard the ship and there was speculation that the ship had a faulty isotope. However, it turned out that the levels matched the original design. The issue was simply that the regulations around how much radiation was acceptable had changed in the time it had taken to build and test the ship. Since 2001, however, the ship has done well. It has participated in a number of important Navy operations and underwent a mid-life upgrade in 2017. HMS Queen Elizabeth As we get closer to the top of this list, we reach some truly impressive best-in-class aircraft carriers. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is the lead ship of the Royal Navy of the United Kingdom's Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers, by far the biggest warships ever commissioned by the British Navy. One of the most modern ships on this list, the Queen Elizabeth herself was first ordered in 2008. Built by the Aircraft Carrier Alliance of Rosseth Dockyard, Scotland, began trials in 2017 and was commissioned in December of 2017. She will officially enter service in 2020 as she is still undergoing operational testing. The Queen Elizabeth has a full load displacement of 65,000 tons, reaches speeds of 32 knots, has a 1,600 person capacity, and can house as many as 70 aircraft at a time. And her biggest scandal to date? One of the QE's captains had to be removed from command and replaced because the Navy believed he'd been using his Ministry of Defense car, a Ford Galaxy, for personal trips. USS George H.W. Bush 
The American Navy's Nimitz-class aircraft carriers make up 10 of the nuclear-powered aircraft carriers currently in service for the U.S. While all 10 are impressive ships worthy of praise, the George H.W. Bush has been chosen to represent them for the purposes of this list as the most recent and ergo most modern model. The first Nimitz-class ship was ordered in 1967 and commissioned in 1975. The George H.W. Bush, who will also be the last of her class, was ordered in 2001, launched in 2006, and officially commissioned in 2009. Named for the 41st President of the United States, she was built by Newport News Shipbuilding, which has the largest dry dock in the Western Hemisphere. Technically, of the Ronald Reagan subclass of the Nimitz class, the Bush features updated propeller, bow, and flight deck designs, as well as updated communication technologies and a more environmentally conscious waste management system, though the updated sewage system has caused some problems. That said, since its commissioning in 2009, the ship has been an active and effective addition to the U.S. Navy, and you can't scoff at her stats. She has a 102,000 ton displacement, can travel at over 30 knots, and can host as many as 90 aircraft at a time. USS Gerald R. Ford. And finally, the number one aircraft carrier in the world today is the USS Gerald R. Ford, first of a new class of American aircraft carriers with a wide variety of new, first-in-the-world updates to its tech, design, and capabilities. At present, five total Ford-class carriers have been ordered, with the next ship, the John F. Kennedy, expected to be commissioned in 2020. The Ford herself was ordered in 2008, also from Newport News Shipbuilding, and commissioned in July of 2017. The Ford has a 100,000-ton full-load displacement, built to be lighter than the Nimitz class, can go over 30 knots, and accommodate as many as 90 aircraft. She also has a new electromagnetic aircraft launch system to replace the old steam-based systems and requires less crew members to run than older models. The world's largest aircraft carrier and warship in general, the USS Gerald R. Ford, is expected to be deployed for the first time in 2022. And there you have it. In our opinion, these are the top 10 aircraft carriers in the world right now. What do you think?